it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 3 of season 4 of Overlords. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Are we sure about this? That doesn't count. We sure didn't want to use that for blackmail or some shit. <laughs> Probably nothing.
She looks familiar. Excuse me, sorry. Right? I mean, because come on now. Let's be a little smart about that, Ish. Holy shit, I didn't think we were gonna see him in the day. <laughs> I hate being sleepy at 11 in the morning.
I mean, yeah, you're right. Because, you know, your, the messenger could just fucking snap and, you know, kill everybody. He is, he's like way too fucking stressed. I got a weird feeling about this group. I don't know why. Something's just really fishy about them. But somebody still is going to eavesdrop on him. Come on now. No.
of course I don't. So, of course, everyone has to be, quote, unquote, happy. Figured it would be those priests that we saw earlier. Why is that one wearing a hut? Okay, why are the other two? Yeah. It's about to be a surprise, ain't it? <laughs> Why'd you be like Eins? <laughs> but Alberto's busy. <laughs> it could be Demiurge. Because it can't be Shell Tears since she is still brainwashed. And I can't believe I forgot that. Maybe. <laughs> you could be pranking kids if they don't do it. Hello, come on. The, the people who you hired. Hello. Bad feeling. I mean, duh, this is Ains, though. Like, damn. You really thought? <laughs> but then how did he find out all this certain information and eavesdrop on you guys once again mm. 
Now you know he over here in that shit while he down there fighting. Come on now. I mean, okay, once again, this is just a fucking chess match. No matter what, Ainz is always one step ahead. Okay, one, to see my husbando in today's episode, once again, was not expecting that shit at all. Like, I was expecting to see him at, like, the halfway point of the show, but, like, oh, I, I feel like the weakest part of this episode was the priest talking because... That, it felt like it went on forever, like a good behind minute. Still hate the fact that Sheltier is in here, but now because I completely forgot she was brainwashed, and so she's just, you know, hidden somewhere up until her time comes up. Um, because I'm guessing she has to show up soon. That's the biggest thing. Interesting, decent episode. Yeah, I, I love the play. You know, my, my husband, he, he's stressed about this shit. And th the fact that he wanted to vent to his knights about that, that ish was freaking hilarious. I'm sorry. Like, and I get that because you were, he's so scared. He doesn't know what to do. I mean, it's like, should he trust Ainz? Should he trust the priest? Like, they're, mm, like, what the fuck are you supposed to do in this situation? Like, who freaking knows? So, yeah, you do feel bad for him. But, like, I don't know why. I feel like he's going to die in this season and such. I, I mean, because, like, number one, I love the fact that we got to see what Ainz was doing during this moment when Albedo was doing her ish in the previous episode. I want to see more of Albedo in the situation that she's doing, especially hanging out with like pervy ass Kirito from last week. And I, because I feel like he's gonna die too. Philip is gonna die. I don't know why, but like when I look at him, I'm like, I feel like you're not gonna make it, Philip. So I'm just counting the days until you die. Now, let's say we go into like season five and he dies in season five. Then <laughs> Okay, I wouldn't be mad at it, but like, oh, I just, I got a lot of unanswered questions and stuff. I mean, there, there's a lot of motives for everybody and, you know, the game is set, the pieces are lying wherever the fuck they are, and however this outcome is going to go, because we're only on episode three, it still makes me wonder if, like, we're going to have certain characters also pop up again from, like, season one and season two. Um, preferably, I think it's the lizard people, if they're going to show up, because, I mean, when, when they had their, like, one, one or what, two seasons that they were focused on, I don't really remember, I, I still wanted more when we officially ended with them, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we do get to see them again, I, I, don't, I don't really know, but, like, yeah, fingers crossed, hoping, praying, mm, yeah, yeah, and then my best girl besides Alberto, you know, our little princess with her little freaking that was the wrong word. Yandere vibes. I need to see her again and the situations that her and Albedo are going to be up to during the couple of mo uh, moments in last week's episode and indicating, like, whatever the fuck she's going to be doing with her. Um, and then everything else in between. I mean, yeah. It, like I said, it was a decent episode. It kind of went, well, like, a little... It was fast in, like, uh, the beginning. Then with the priests having their meeting, that was slow, of course. And then it just went fast again. Because next thing you know, we were already at 16 minutes. And I'm like, damn. We are already almost done with this episode. And, and, like, I, I, and that's what I love about this show. But at the same time, that's what I dislike about this show. It goes too fast. <laughs> the episodes don't feel like 15, 25 to 23 minutes. It feels like 15 seconds. 
seconds and then we're done. The longest 15 seconds ever. But yeah, it was a decent good episode. Really excited for next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode three of season four of Overlord. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode four. Bye, guys.